Good day, everybody. This is Thursday today, so it's all about road lighting design techniques. All right. So I'm working at KEO Insight right now as a lighting designer, and one of the landscape architects suggested this one to use in a road lighting, and he asked me if it's really possible to use this one because it's a little decorative for a road lighting. Because yeah, we always uh, use a very industrial type of luminaire for a road lighting and he wants to use this one a little decorative one in a two-lane road and i said i think it's possible because when i found out the optics of this luminaire there are this for narrow the t1 and then a t2 for a wider one and this t3 maybe for another wider road so i will try to use this t1 to see if it's really useful for a two-lane road so i will first check what is the right wattage because i think the height of this one is mentioned six to ten meters so i'm going to use six meters because the landscape architect used a six meter height only he doesn't want to have a 10 meter height pole so yes let's go and check this one for a road lighting for now i'm going to use this lower wattage 104 watt with a t1 optic so let's go and check it and click the T1. All right, so I'm not going, I'm not promoting the Ligman brand, but I'm just going to show you that the, their website is really cool. Because see, when you click this, for example, this one, you see the effect here at the bottom part. And this is very useful for uh, landscape architect because they can see visually what is the effect of this um, light output on the ground. Okay, so let's go and select the T1. So if I go in here and select the T1, and then I'll say just a dark gray, the color is here. I will just say uh, on and off, and I go out here and check this dark gray with 3000 Kelvin because most of the landscape luminaire use 3000 Kelvin. So I'm just going to use this IES file here and then download it in my desktop. And then I'm going to open now my Dialux Evo and so it's opening now. Let's go and use it. In the meantime, I want to use uh, I want to download the LDT file and because it's not here. So I'm just going to copy this one and then I'll Google it and paste it here because it's really hard to find the photometric file or the LDT file for this one. Yeah, see it's here, ULD. And then I'll save it here. Ah, okay, it's in the zip file. So I'm just go and save it there. I will extract it. And then here is the uh, ULD file. And now I'm going to select this T1. This is the object that we, we want to use. So that the dialogs now is open. I'm going to use this street lighting now. So we can go directly to the road or street lighting. And then what I'm going to do is I will just drag and drop it here. T1. There you go. Perfect. And then I will just go and select the road. And this is a roadway with seven meter wide, two lanes. I'm just going to select the M4 as a default. And let's see how it goes. It looks like it's achieving except for the overall uniformity. Let's go and see it more. Let's increase this screen. Okay, I will select the height of the fitting as 6 meters because that is what the landscape architect wants. So I'm going to say 6. And the pole spacing will be... Okay, because I'm not sure if, if we can tilt it here. Uh, because you can see TI and overall uniformity is not achieving. And if we go here, yeah, it thinks it needs a little tilting. Let's go and check if we really can tilt it. So let's go to the technical information and maybe download the data sheet. Okay. Okay, based on the data sheet, it seems that we cannot tilt the luminaire because the angle of this one is already fixed. So what we're going to do is we will select 
um, maybe the T2 instead of the T1. Because based on this observation, there are less light on the other side of the road. So let's go and drag and drop the T3. So let's go for the T3, drag and drop. And then change the spacing into, uh, let's go and change the height first into six meters. Oh, look at this, 15 meter. Can we go for 20? Oh, look at that. So I think it is now okay to use because T3 is now achieving the lux value and overall uniformity. And you can see it's, look, all checked. And because the wanted is so high, the lux value is also high here. If we can go and extend it into 25 meter spacing, still good. How about 30? Oh no. So let's go in 28 meters. Now 26. Yes. So this luminaire in a six meter height, we can go and use it for a 26 meter pole spacing. It's really cool. I think the landscape architect will be very happy. Okay, so T3 is perfect for this uh, two-lane road. And it's a little decorative fitting and because it's used for landscaping. Okay, I think that one is for internal road. So that's it. It's Thursday and it's road lighting day. So see you again tomorrow for... Um, Friday lecture about basics of dialogues. So see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe and check my other Udemy course. I will update this one later this year because some of these are, are still not updated. So yeah, let's go and together see how it goes this 2025. Alright, so see you again on the next video. Bye!